Nothing is over one story high in Bonnie, which makes the seven mud mosques that were built here so remarkable. Minarets like the voices of the singers reaching up to the sky with their brown arms outstretched. They could be heard clearly as I reached the top of the escarpment looking down over the village. I had come here to see these religious buildings, but I left with a very different heavenly chorus in my bones. It was a call and response, each wave flowing back as the other came forth, overlapping in an unearthly harmony my years of music had never prepared me to understand. Everyone had a tall, forked stick on which they rested, arms upholding their tired heads, eyes rimmed already from six straight hours. This was devotion, pure and simple. Across the Muslim world of North Africa, my friend Sisse explained, people sang like this in praise. Later that afternoon, I would go up to the flat terrain above town to think about the big picture, to watch the distant shepherds and the boys playing football on the wide expanse below that was floodplain in the wet season. Gardens fed by well water yielded beautiful vegetables, and at dusk, the cows came in on their own accord, plodding slowly along gray tracks, worn soft from use. I had only heard singing like this once before, in a church half a world away, full of enthusiastic Baptists who raised the roof every Sunday morning. Their heaven was a place of joy, and the back of my neck can still feel the fever pitch of their emotion. As I walked slowly back along the road to town at twilight, I could still hear the singers of Bonnie their counterpoint echoing through the night.